Recently, I've been talking to Baz Winter, legendary creator of Times Table Rock Stars, and we've put our heads together to try and think of 10 top tips that you might want to know for the next time you walk out on Rockstars. Oh, and I've been raiding my virtual Rockstar fancy dress box too. See if you can work out who I'm dressing up as for each tip. Tap onto your Rockstar profile and then hit settings, where you can apply background music to all of your game modes. You can play rock music as you're doing your times tables. And an interesting fact for you, the rock music was actually composed for Times Table Rockstars and performed by a very talented teaching assistant called Victor and his band. Also in settings, you can change how your Times Table Rockstar experience looks by changing the theme, the text size, removing the clock, hiding the score, and removing distractions as you're playing your game. No two rock stars are the same, so why should your games look the same? Pick a style you like and see how it goes. Tap on your Rockstar name and then go to My Stats, and you will see a heat map. This heat map shows your progress of all the different times tables and how quickly you're answering each question on average. The quicker your question answering, the higher your Rockstar speed will be. So you can use this chart to find the ones that perhaps you're a little bit slower at, so you can practice and refine those to get even quicker. The really great thing about the heat map is that if your school has got the stats vault on, you can then go back to the beginning of when you first started playing Rockstars and you can see the heat map change over time. It might go from red to orange to yellow and then eventually to green. And you can see that personal journey you've been on to becoming a better Rockstar right there on the stats page. You can get a pretty good idea of how your speed compares to others in your class and your school by tapping onto your Rockstar name and going down to My Charts. From here you can see a table of every rock star in your school and their current rock speed and rock status. This might inspire you to try and beat the next person up and get even higher on that table. Don't forget you can see your teachers as well by using that switch in the top corner and you can see how you compare to them. I know what it's like, you spend such a long time making the best avatar you can, buying all the lovely things in the shop, picking the best guitar, the best hairstyle, the best glasses, everything and you want to keep that, well, you can actually download your profile picture and it will save it as a picture on your computer, your tablet, or your phone. You could then share this picture of your friends and your family to show them just what a cool rock star you are. For a bit of friendly rivalry, why not challenge your friend to a rock slam battle? Tap onto the rock slam page, choose your class, choose your friend, and then play the game as normal. The higher the score you get, the harder the challenge will be for your friend, because they have to try and beat your score in order to win. You'll earn coins just like normal, but this is a great fun way of staying in touch with your friends, even if you can't be there with them to play in person. Make sure you keep an eye on the challenges that you've received as well, so you aren't making your friends wait for too long before you play them back again. Have you ever wondered where your rock speed comes from, or how to improve your rock status? Well, the answer is the studio. Your chart speed is an average of the 10 most recent studio games you've played. The faster you play across these 10 studio games in a row, the better your rock status and your rock speed will be. Remember that averages can go down sometimes too, so if you had a couple of bad games in a row, don't be disheartened, go back into the studio and you'll soon bring your speed back up again. Always keep your passwords private. Don't share them with friends via messages or in person. Although your friend might not do anything, they might share your password with someone else who logs in and spends your coins. If you do want to change your current password, your teacher can help you do that. Remember what Baz Winter always says, a good rock star is an honest rock star. Every now and then, you'll be given a gig game to play. Gigs are very special. They last five minutes and they're used by Times Total Rock Stars to work out exactly which tables you need to work on to boost your rock speed. With these gigs, every question that you get right and every question that you get wrong will impact what happens next on the auto training modes. And you may well want to go back to questions that you've got long so you can get better at them and improve your speed because that will have a knock-on effect for the whole of Times Table Rockstars. Use a gig as a chance to learn your strengths and your weaknesses and then go and target them to get even quicker and to be an even better rockstar. Now this is a really big secret in Times Table Rockstars. Don't tell anyone. If you want to be the best rockstar you can and earn the most coins you can, you have got to do one thing and one thing only. Practice. Get in the garage, go through as many games as you can, earn 10 coins for every single question, and the more you play, the more you practice, the quicker you will get. That is a promise. The more you play, the better your rockstar speed will become, because practice makes perfect rockstars.
You may have noticed that I had quite a few different fancy dress costumes for that video. In fact, here they all are now. Can you work out who I'm meant to be in each one? Drop me a comment below and let me know if you think you can spot who I'm dressing up as for each tip. Okay, I hope you enjoyed those 10 top tips for Times Table Rockstars. Please do like and subscribe to my channel, there are going to be loads more videos to come, hopefully with loads more top tips to help you with your online learning. Take care, and see you soon.